course training. It's kind of weird to like go to a swim meet that's like short course in the morning and long course at night. So I mean, we try to get as long, as much long course as we could, but you have to kind of you have to work with it. We're like shaved and tapered. Yeah. Well, uh, what's the pool that you train at? Do you get to swim long course? Um, we get to swim long course uh, at the weekends most of the time, but we alternate between a few pools and the pool that we do swim long course at is a university pool, which is kind of hard to get long course when you're not like the first priority. Not really, but this season I've been really focusing on like freestyle and breaststroke mainly, so I, I was really happy with that draw. Yeah. I, I tried, one of my goals is definitely to get that two free nag and the two fly, but I mean, you, you can't always win, so it's fine. I, I wanted to re-break my nag in the two fly and then break the nag in the two back, but um, it's kind of hard getting up to go um, in the morning. Like, they would have been fine prelim swims if I had a final session short course. I mean, it felt fine. It's kind of, for me, I'm always better when I have someone to race. Um, and I mean, there's good competition at this meet, but it was just kind of hard looking at the 150 wall and be like, oh, <laughs> like that. Try and really um, just go after it the first, I mean, the second and uh, third 50, because at, um, uh, my meet in Knoxville a little while ago, I, I really kind of um, stood down in those 50s and I really had to push it the last 50 to go like where I want to go. So that was the main focus. I was really excited with that. Um, I guess it it's nice knowing that I can sprint freestyle and I can also sprint other things. Uh, like I like being diverse, like being a diverse swimmer. Uh -huh. So I was happy with that. Nice, was that a best time? Yeah, it was. First time under 50 as well? Yeah, I think my old best time was like a 53-0, so I was really happy with that.